Welcome to Made Fit by Katie. Today we are going to be adding in some spicy planks today. They are going to be a single leg push plank, um, which will really light up through one side of the obliques. We are also going to be working on some hip mobility this morning with a little bit of glute work mixed in. So let's just start in a 90-90 position with a little bit of a dynamic warm up. So we're going to do some side body leans here. I want you to lean reach through the core, up and over, nice side body stretch here. Feel a little bit in the hips, back over with control, lean with your core, up. Oh, it feels great. Lean with the core, you'll feel that in your glute, just a little bit, trying to keep that knee down. Two more, lean. One more, adding a little movement. Now, if you can, pick both knees up, little hip opener, we're gonna go right into that other side. So we are going to lean and pull it into it. Nice lengthen and strengthen, think about keeping those knees and hips glued to the ground. One more, and then we're gonna do just a little bit of that hip opener, back and forth. So, picking those knees up and rotating through and go right on back. I'm gluing my feet right down. You might feel some little pops here and there as you rotate, pretty normal. Especially if this is kind of early in the morning for you. Proud chest back to where we started. We're going to do just a little bit of some hip flexor work here, strengthen them. So I want you to lift your booty cheeks out of the way, pull your toes all the way to the knees so you're flexing your feet nice and hard. Now sit up nice, tall and straight, engage your core. Fingertips are going to plant lightly on the ground and you're just going to pick it up with your quad, that front of the leg, lift and lower. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall here through the hip flexor, through the core. One more. I'm gonna do this next leg from the sides, just so you can see that I want you up nice and tall. Oh, hold there, lower it down. So no flopping it back down. You wanna lower it down, show your strength. <sighs> Fighting that gravity, that down part, the eccentric part of this motion can be really, really difficult. One more lift and lower down. Deep breath overhead, hinge forward, swoop towards the feet and back up. Hinge forward, just a little dynamic, no bouncing. It's just a little movement, warming up through our legs a little more on the hip flexors. Back down. Okay, from here we're gonna light up that core just a little bit before we get into these planks. So roll it on back. First thing I want you to do is take your hand underneath your low back and you're going to feel a space. So we need to get rid of that space or imprint our spine by tipping our tailbone, pulling in that belly button as tightly as we can to the spine, and then you'll notice no more space back there. Now from here, I want you to lift your legs to tabletop 90 degrees. We tend to cheat and bring them in here because it's hanging. We can let everything go. I want you to push them out just a little bit. You're going to really feel that sweet spot in your curls. Like, oh, I have to lock in tight. Hands are going to go to the front of our thighs. So we've got a little tabletop resistance. Now make sure that spine is imprinted. I want you to use your breath. Blow it out. Push and hold as hard as you can. Push, push, push. Arms should be shaking. Legs should be shaking. And there should be just a battleground in your belly here. One more breath. Blow it out, nice and deep. Give me another one. You can hear the trembling. Carefully lower those legs on down to the ground. We're gonna roll up and we're gonna get into some planks here. So we are gonna have a 45 second plank. Let me get our timer started. Hands are gonna go directly underneath your shoulders and you're gonna hit a nice high plank position. Take your left foot, squeeze through the left glute. You're gonna push down as hard as you can on top of 
that other foot. So from here, double check, make sure that you are engaged to your core, so you're not dumping way down here or way up in the air. Find again the sweet spot in the middle. Double check to make sure that your wrists are in line with your shoulders. Your creases, your elbows should be pointing forward, so not way out to the side. Pull them in, use your triceps or the back of your arm to really squeeze. That left side of your body right now is going, oh, hello, that's supposed to happen. Squeeze, that's 45 seconds. I'm gonna start the timer for the other side. Hop back up into that plank position. Take your right foot, squeeze the glutes, push it down into that left side. You have to push to make this really light up. It also helps keep your hips level, so you want those hip bones pointing straight to the ground right here. Keep that spine in line, so no dropping down here. We need to be able to breathe, and no looking up at the ceiling. So nice neutral spot, roll those shoulders down and back, check in with that core, pull the belly button in, and just breathe here. Relax through it, don't worry about your time, you're almost there. Talking you through it here, you've got this. Hang on. Unwind there, lower the knees. And we're gonna work on a little bit of hip mobility. Okay, so let's hit that 90-90 position. So double check, if you had a mat right in front of you, your front leg should be parallel with the edge of the mat and your back leg is also at a 90. So I call it 90-90 because we're a double 90. Flex your feet up tall. Think core, think we've just worked the plank, we lit up the core, we're still gonna use it. Fingertips are gonna go lightly onto the ground if you need it, but no dumping and hanging in there. Squeeze through this side butt on that back leg, lift and lower. So my heel is glued to the floor I'm leaning into the work. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, go to 10, nine, 10. Now hold it up, squeeze through that side, but if you've got your finger here, you're gonna feel it, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna do a little tap of the knee, lift the heel and reverse. So tap the knee, pick it up, reverse. Tap knee, tap heel. For five, lean this way, three, Two and one. Return. Hold. Lean. You're going to feel it. They're here. We're working this. We're working this. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. We're going to go into those planks again before we hit the other side. All right. Hit that proper high plank position. Glutes are squeezed. Tuck forward, take that left foot, push it down really hard into the right. Make sure you're not hanging way back here while it does feel really good in our calves. You've got to shift forward and get those arms up, or excuse me, the upper body up over your hands there. You want that chest right between your shoulders. Now squeeze and push, push it down. How hard can you push that left foot into the right? really going to take that left hip and push it down, hitting that side, focusing on the side body today. Breathe. Shoulders go down and back. All right, here we go. Let's go right into that other side. We're going to start the timer. Right is going to push into the left. You can do this. I know you're probably at home going, okay, I'm doing the math on this, 245 second plank. Okay, that's a pretty good length of a plank. You are correct, and you can do this. You are strong, think about breathing. Use those legs to help you engage those quads. Squeeze them, bend those arms just a little bit, use it. You should be shaking through that core. That's the work, 
That's the challenge. You are bigger than this challenge, so push through because yes, you can. You're almost there. There it is. Lower down. Let's head into that other side. So 90 90s. Front leg, my right is coming forward this time, my left is coming back. If this leg needs to be a little closer to the foot, if that's where your hip mobility is at, today that's fine. That is something to work towards. Okay, push it back, line it up. Remember, if you need to tent those fingers, tall through the cord, let's lift that knee, lift and lower. Squeeze that side booty, squeeze through the hip. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, pulse it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here comes that doozy. Tap the knee. Oh, you saw me shift. I gotta shift back that way. Tap the heel. Knee, heel, side body. Oh my goodness. Hips. Oh, so screaming. Six. side than the other completely normal that's why we do this unilateral work one at a time we can catch those things we can work a little bit harder to figure out where we need to stretch a little bit deeper or maybe work a couple more extra reps on that side three two one lower down all right we are just about through this so that means that we have um, another set of planks coming up 45 seconds high plank hit left foot Presses in, check those hips, are they parallel to the floor? No, should be pointing right to the ground. Make sure you're not tucked. You wanna keep that airway nice and open. Now, can you twist that left hip down just a little harder? Press into that foot. Breathe, nice deep breaths. Control, strong and steady. Slow breaths here, really. Use that breath to push deeper into your core. Start to feel the shakes, soften those elbows out. Let's go right into the other side as I flip the timer. Here we go. Strong plank, right on top of the left. Push down, breathe. You are doing absolutely amazing things for your body. Planks are so good for us. They are such a good full body work. It's why they're so hard. Your arms are burning, your shoulders are burning. Glutes are squeezed in nice and tight. Core is pulled in strong. Hitting that deepest layer in our abs, our transverse abdominis, way deep down in there. Feel that shake. And breathe, there it is. Unwind, drop those hips. Let's sink that back into a child's pose here. Open those knees, pull it on back. Rest that head between the hands. Oh, feels so good on the shoulders. Really rounding out the spine the other direction. If it feels good to you, you can kind of shimmy left and right. Come on up. If sitting on your knees is not comfortable, feel free to do this standing. We're gonna reach overhead. Long side body stretch. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick little spicy plank workout. This is a great one if you're just looking for a little movement throughout the day or if you want to use it as a circuit and build it in with some other ones and make a nice full body circuit, you can use this video in many, many ways. 
Let's bring that arm right across, just stretching through those shoulders. That was a pretty good plank today. Shoulders are very sneaky, or planks are very sneaky in the shoulders, I should say. All right, let's gently switch sides. Thank you again for joining me. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my page so you don't miss any video premieres. See you at the next workout. Thanks.